The agriculture uh, has made great contribution uh, to China's economic uh, development. Uh, so you can see the figure. Uh, in 1978, the agriculture amounted to 28.1% uh, 20, of China's uh, the GDP. Uh, and also, uh, agriculture provided the job opportunities for over 17.5% of uh, employment, uh, employed people. With the rapid development of uh, industrialization and urbanization, uh, China's economy uh, uh, has witnessed the major structural changes, whereas agriculture share in national economy is uh, decreasing every year. By 2008, the share of agriculture in GDP has fallen to 11.3%, uh, uh, and the job position provided by agriculture reduced to 39.6% uh, of total jobs. Um, with the foreign trade, the export uh, of agricultural products uh, dropped from the 26.7% of total exports in the 1980 to 3.2% in 2008, while the agricultural import uh, fell from the 33.8% to 4% from 1980 to 2008. The substantial con contribution made by China's agriculture is that with about 9% of world arable land and 6.5% of world water resource. It has solved the problem of providing sufficient and stable food supply for 1.3 billion people. Besides, uh, agriculture is also a major industry related to people's livelihood, which provides job opportunities for farmers and increases their income. About 320 million farmers make a living in the agriculture sector, and 45% of farmers' income is from agriculture. Uh, in addition, agriculture is directly connected with the expansion of domestic market demand, which plays an important role for the rapid economic growth in China. Um, the facts in China have proven that um, the macroeconomic policies, uh, such as uh, fiscal policies, monetary policies, and uh, exchange Red policies have great impact on agriculture. Uh, agriculture has, for many years, played a major part in policy making for China's uh, e economy. So um, uh, I, I want to give uh, three uh, swift sets for the China's uh, experience uh, for the microeconomic and the agriculture. The first, the China always taken agriculture as the foundation of national economy. A long-standing common consensus in China is that China, as a large developing country with a population of 1.3 billion, is experienced fast industrialization and urbanization. In the context of such a situation, Agriculture is of special significance. Uh, significance. The agriculture in China has always been regarded as a strategic industry for winning audient support from the people as well as a foundation for maintaining national independence, economic prosperity, and social stability. China realized the fact that the share of agriculture uh, in total GDP has declined to some extent. However, the status of agriculture as the foundation of uh, national e economy has in no way changed. It's still the source for 
sublime food and clothing to the people as well as the foundation for development. It has always been the major issue for the Chinese government that with 9% of world arable land, it should ensure the food security of its 1.3 billion people who account for 21 of the world population. Second, China always regards the issues related to agriculture, farmers, and the rural areas as the priorities of uh, the government. For example, uh, since the turn of the new century, the Chinese central government has issued the number one document at the beginning of seven consecutive years. These documents aimed at guiding agriculture and the rural work and uh, formulated the several of uh, policy measures to support agriculture development, including uh, uh, some policies like uh, minim minimum price policy for the grain purchase, agriculture subsidies, and uh, uh, infrastructure construction support. By the means of increased agriculture subsidies, the government has further mobilized the farmers, enthusiasm, increased investment on public undertakings to better improve the farmers' livelihood and take more steps to stimulate rural demands. As a result, the government policy on agriculture and the rural areas has produced their tangible results. The third, with regard to our micro-regulation, we have adhered to the uh, principle of the dealing with different sectors with different uh, approaches. We have also adhered to the principle of expanding some sectors while contracting others and pay attention to strengthening the workings of agriculture. For example, at the beginning of 2004, uh, China faced two difficult problems. One problem is the uh, dramatic increase of grain price due to the reduction of grain output for five consecutive years. The other problem is that given the fact that the scale of domestic investment was sharply expanded and money credit supply and price went up too quickly, inflation uh, might be expected. The, Ch the Chinese government had consequently implemented several micro-regulation -re measures and especially the mission of tightening the two gates, the Lemony Street management on land supply and the credit supply. The government had, on the one hand, take missions to curb the excessive investment and the low level expansion of central sectors, including steel, cement, and the real estate, and so on. On the other hand, uh, the made adjustment to invest, investment structure and taking some supportive measures, such as agricultural subsidy to uh, reinforce the weakenings of agriculture sector and especially green production, so that agriculture could get uh, support uh, through the, the, the government micro-regulation or what, uh, tightening policies. So let me give you a lot of example. Since the later half of 2008, and in face of the international financial crisis, China has prioritized the issue related to agriculture, farmers, and the rural areas in its uh, package plan for campaigning the international financial crisis. It has firmly uh, adopted a number of measures to uh, promote agriculture, such as raising the minimum price for the purchase of grain and uh, uh, some uh, market-based uh, price intervention measures uh, related to the, the grain purchase. 
and uh, intensified the regulation on the market of agricultural products so that to guarantee stable uh, growth for the agriculture. Uh, the, for this year, the, since the beginning of 2010, the world econ economy has showed the sign of uh, recovery, but it would be a slow and uh, uh, tertiary course for the world economy to uh, get fully recovered. The Chinese economy is now witnessing an upward trend, but the foundation for taking off a lot yet uh, 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 stabilized, uh, consolidated, and uh, balanced. Okay. So, uh, uh, so for for okay, so, so uh, for the for the this year's agriculture prices, uh, maybe have become more complicated, uh, uh, both for the international market and also for the domestic market, uh, especially for some macroeconomic. Uh, factors uh, influence. So uh, uh, that's all. Thank you.